and so we arrive in Leowen for our final recommendation. The last couple one have been okay, uh, kind of, not really. I fucking hated the last one that we did uh, for the dirty, dirty lizard girl. I uh, don't appreciate it very much, but hey, this is the last one, and we should be able to get into the Arcane College after this, and I don't know how many episodes these are going to take. I don't know if it's going to be eight in total. I don't know if some are going to double up in an episode or whatever it may be. I'm actually not at that point of being able to say so when it comes to editing. All I've gotten is the first episode out, and I'm still editing episode two, so like, what the fuck? But I hope you guys are enjoying the series as time goes on. Um... I know we had like kind of like a split off episode with whatever the hell happened with the <laughs> creepy <laughs> whatever happened but uh, it, 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 it I just hope you guys are enjoying it that's all, that's all that really matters I'm enjoying playing it except for honestly the last episode which uh, I rather uh, uh, rather dislocated my knee by someone accidentally falling on top of it to be honest with you. Uh, that seemed like the best bet for me, uh, to honestly deal with whatever matters of interest are happening. What the fuck is literal? Where are you, you dork? Excuse me, Agatha. I must yes? ask you a couple is questions. Is there something I, I can apologize. help you with, associate? Uh, you have a very annoying voice, but I'm see surprised she discussed it with you. She wanted to keep it from the others. I should speak to her about that. Yes, her seer stone is missing. It's the one thing that has kept her visions at bay. And without it, they're nearly crippling. She can't function. We haven't yet spoken to the others, for fear they would be less than accepting of her situation. Perhaps it is time, though. I will continue to tend to DeGale. Can you speak with the other mages and find out if any of them have seen the stone? If you're the- if the- uh, if a fucking shit! <laughs> oh my god. She's led such a tr- I don't care. Listen, I, take I just want the recommendation. You too. All you guys aren't supposed to know it. I thought it was some- some- some fucking secret, but apparently it's not a secret. Everyone knows. Hello, associate. Uh, hey. <laughs> Strassa of the Mages Guild, evoker and alchemist, and also, in his scant free time, a trainer. But, perhaps you are an adventurer? Could you assist me in acquiring something for my crystal collection? Straight to the mind? point, eh? Good, I like that. I'm searching for some specific crystals, known as... Garidan's Tears. If you can locate these objects for me, I'd pay handsomely for each one. Each one? This deal sounds very lucrative, friend. I will accept it. But sadly, we must put this plan on layaway. I do hope that isn't an issue. Wonderful. I had a good feeling about you from the moment that I saw you. I want you to bring me as many of Garidan's tears as you can find. If you do, I will pay you a fair bounty in gold for each one. I confess, I have a weakness for crystals of a magical nature, and I must add these to my collection. This is a personal errand, you must understand, just between you and I. The Mage's Guild has nothing to do with it. I better not... I better not get fucked for what you're doing. She's been a great help to all of us in the Guild. Without her, I think that Yale would be lost at times. Nice lady, but strange. Talks to herself far more often than one should, in my opinion. Sometimes I wonder why she hasn't just retired and gone someplace to rest. You're a very handsome, smiling the boy. That's not what I want to do. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm afraid I don't know anything about it. I heard it was missing, though. Kalthar was talking about it recently. He seemed very agitated about it, almost happy. 
Strange, isn't that? Thank you for the information, brother. May you walk on warm sands. I assure you, the gold is well. Nice to meet you. All right, let's see. See yourself. All I heard was that it was. Okay, absolutely nothing. She was a very powerful mage once, from what I understand. Agatha is the first person. Uh, Can I what do you sell? You in some of my wares? Oh wait, sorry. I want to look at this. What do you spell? My fine wares? Literally nothing. Nothing. May absolutely all your nothing. Travels be safe. Hello, what can I do for you? I heard you know something about the Sears. Well, stone. well. Word is finally spreading, is it? They won't be able to keep up this facade much longer. Yeah, I know all about it. I overheard Agata and Dagail talking. And you know what? I'm glad it's gone. What? Why should we be forced to work under someone who's only kept sane by a magical trinket? Haven't we sacrificed enough already? She shouldn't even be here anymore. Hell, the only reason her father ever fit in anywhere is because he kept a low profile. And look what it got him. Years of service to the Empire, and not even a tombstone over his head. Huh. At least he was able to maintain the illusion of sanity. I know. I get way too fired up over this. It just annoys me that she's in charge of the guild, when she's clearly not fit, that's all. There's a reason why you're sleeping in the fucking basement, you dummy. <sighs> she's the one you want to talk to if you actually need something to get done around here. I don't... I've heard she was put in charge of the Leowen Guild Hall as a favor, not because she... What, haven't I said enough... Can you tell me more? I honestly want to know if you could tell me more. Because if You'll you see, can tell me more, I change. very much do will appreciate you doing that. Go ahead. What, haven't I? Alright, you told You'll me see. Enough. Whatever. Things will change. Did he call me a pussy? The fuck? Yes? Excuse me, Is I there that. something I can help you with, Associate? The Seer so Stone overheard us, did he? That explains why he's been so cranky lately. But we never said anything about DeGale's father. How would he know anything about that? If there's some sort of connection between the Seer Stone and DeGale's father, I don't know about it. Maybe if you ask her, it will jog her memory. In the meantime, Agatha. I'll keep an eye on Calthar. You're the most capable hand here. This is not something I should be dealing with. I'm telling you, I can't be talking to a mad woman. It's it's not worth it. To go through that for someone with just a toxic mind. It's not worth it. Don't you go to bed. Yeah. You seek more from me, child? It is as I have seen. I know what you would ask. You would bring light to that which is in darkness, bring silence to the voices so loud. I know where you must go. Blood ran blue and dragons flew high. Under broken towers and broken bodies it now lies, waiting to be found. What was my sire's must be mine if you would have the words you seek. You must go and find his stone. Literally, what? Oh my god, what the literal fuck does that mean? Great googly moogly. Alright, so we're gonna be going to a four, which also means that there might be a chance there may be some combat in. We have yet to do any combat in quite some time, so let's see if we can find it on the map here. So it seems to be an offshoot somewhere. Deep score and hollow? I've been there? What the hell? Alright, so... <laughs> Onward, my trusty steed. I very much do appreciate your strong shoulders. Thank you, my trusty steed. It appears... 
This is some broken down fort from yesteryear. Like she was saying, where dragons used to be. Fort Blue Blood. Now let's just hope there's not going to be a dragon in here. Oh, Jesus, dude. Alright, where's the entrance? Here? This appears to be the entrance. Alright. Looks like there's a actual entrance that I have to go through. Alright, enter the fort. Beers, I hear some stories. Oh, you very much did startle me, but it's absolutely okay because you, you're going to be dead now. Hopefully, dead. Dead is the word that I'm hopefully looking for. Close to it. Close to it. Come on! Amontillado! I'm fighting right behind you. Right in front of you. Come on, Amontillado! You have that much time! Ugh. You did the best you could. This ends Come on! Here. Ugh, great googly moogly. Ah, uh, damn, dude. Oh, uh, dude, she has like an orcish curse on her? Jesus. Great googly moogly. What do I have on me? I have the steel curse, which is a 35 overall. This is a... Oh, wait, no, that's a 6. 6, this is a... Alright, let's throw that on her. Let's, uh, pick up the... Yeah, the orcish curse. Let's throw that away, I guess. Or throw the steel curse away and then take the orcish curse. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wait, fuck! My camera died, so I guess that means we're done for today. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like I stated before, ooh, she's naked, look at that. Like a little fucking Hawaiian girl just chilling there. Hey, look, she has shitty little boots like me, too. <sighs> me and you may have been lovers one day, Murata. But today. We're still lovers, but not one you could traditionally say are. Ah.